What we're going to be discussing today are homogeneous equations in terms of SI units. So this is a video about SI units. It's not about the meaning of homogeneous equations in differential equations and calculus. So um, what are homogeneous equations? Well, all this means is that the SI units on both sides of the equation are the same. So the SI units on both sides of the equation are the same. If you are unsure what SI units are, I'm going to leave a little link in the description about my video on SI units. Let me just give you an example of um, of this. So let's have a look at the equation for work done when the force is parallel to the direction of motion. So from GCSC we should know that work done is equal to force times distance. Okay well the SI unit for work done is the joule and that's going to equal to the force. We know a more, you know, we know an even more fundamental equation for force, which is just mass times acceleration. And let's not forget the distance. So a joule is going to equal mass times acceleration times distance. Now, what is the base unit of the joule? A useful thing to remember is just any formula for, for energy. For example, potential energy is uh, mgh. So we can just say that energy is mgh. So the base unit of, a, of the base units of a joule are actually going to be a kilogram. G is gravitational acceleration, so it's meters per second squared times height is also measured in meters so a joule will actually be kilograms meter squared s to the power of minus two so this is the base unit on the left hand side of the equation so that's kilograms meter squared s to the power of minus two this is what a joule is this is going to equal, well, let's have a look at the right hand side of this equation. The mass is measured in kilograms. The acceleration is measured in meters per second squared times meters. And we can see that those are exactly the same. All we need to do is just uh, write down divided by s to the power of 2 as s to the power of minus 2. So let's just do the very final step. So kilograms meter squared s to the power of minus 2 is equal to kilograms meter squared s to the power of minus 2. So this equation is homogeneous. The SI base units on the left are equal to the SI base units on the right.